Welcome to Quiz for All channel. In this quiz, you'll face 50 questions from the world of medicine and the human body. Do you have what it takes to be a doctor? Let's find out. Before we begin, don't forget to subscribe so you never miss any new quizzes. Thanks. Which plane divides the body into front and back? The body is divided into front and back by the coronal plane. In anatomy, which term refers to a direction toward the head? Toward the head is described by the term superior. In medical terminology, what does the suffix ectomy refer to? The suffix ectomy refers to the surgical removal of something. True or false, an anatomical foramen is a natural opening in bone. True, a foramen is a natural opening in bone that allows nerves or blood vessels to pass through. Which structure connects muscle to bone? A muscle attaches to a bone through a tendon, which transfers the force of the muscle to create movement. Which type of tissue is specialized for conducting electrical impulses? Electrical impulses are carried by nervous tissue, which allows the body to send signals rapidly between the brain, spinal cord, and the rest of the body. What anatomical direction describes a position closer to the body's midline? A position closer to the midline of the body is described as medial. Which cavity contains the heart and lungs? The heart and lungs sit within the thoracic cavity. Which muscle is primarily responsible for elbow flexion? Elbow flexion is mainly produced by the biceps brachii, which lifts the forearm by contracting at the front of the upper arm. Which bone forms the forehead? The forehead is formed by the frontal bone, which also helps shape the upper part of the eye sockets. What are the names of the bones highlighted in the image? The bones highlighted in the image are the scapulae, also known as the shoulder blades. Which joint type allows the greatest range of motion? Ball and socket joints allow the greatest range of motion in the body, found in the shoulder and hip. What is the name of an autoimmune condition that attacks the neuromuscular junction and causes muscle weakness? Myasthenia gravis is an autoimmune disorder where antibodies attack the receptors at the neuromuscular junction, preventing nerves from properly triggering muscle contractions and causing weakness that worsens with activity. Which structure stabilizes a joint by connecting bone to bone? A ligament stabilizes a joint by connecting one bone to another. 
What imaging method is most effective for detecting bone fractures? X-rays are the most effective imaging method for detecting bone fractures, as they clearly show breaks and cracks in bone. True or false, the endothelium lines the interior surface of blood vessels. True, the endothelium forms the thin inner lining of all blood vessels and helps maintain smooth blood flow. In blood lipid profiles, which option represents the cholesterol considered good? HDL is known as the good cholesterol because it helps remove excess fats from the bloodstream. During ventricular systole, which heart valve must remain closed to prevent backflow into the left atrium? The mitral valve stays closed during ventricular systole, helping prevent blood from flowing back into the left atrium. What structure gathers lymph and ultimately returns it to the bloodstream? Lymph is collected from most of the body by the thoracic duct and returned to the bloodstream. Which drug group lowers blood pressure by blocking the action of ACE? ACE inhibitors lower blood pressure by blocking the enzyme responsible for producing angiotensin II. What lab test is most often used to detect cardiac muscle injury after a heart attack? Troponin is the key marker because its levels rise sharply when heart muscle cells are damaged. Which procedure opens a narrowed coronary artery using a balloon? An angioplasty uses a small balloon to widen a blocked coronary artery and improve blood flow. Which structure marks the end of the conducting airway and the start of gas exchange? Gas exchange begins in the alveolus, where oxygen and carbon dioxide move between air and blood. Which test measures lung volumes and airflow? Spirometry is used to measure lung volumes and airflow, helping assess overall respiratory function. What type of lung cell is responsible for producing surfactant? Type 2 pneumocytes produce surfactant, a substance that helps keep the alveoli open and stable during breathing. You've made it to the halfway point. If you're liking the quiz, give that like button a click. Thanks. Which gas is primarily carried bound to hemoglobin? Oxygen is primarily carried bound to hemoglobin, allowing it to be transported efficiently from the lungs to tissues. Which condition is characterized by irreversible airflow limitation, often from smoking? COPD, or chronic obstructive pulmonary disease, is characterized by irreversible airflow limitation, often caused by smoking. Bile produced by the liver is stored in which organ?
Bile produced by the liver is stored in the gallbladder until it is needed for digestion. True or false? Insulin raises blood glucose levels by promoting cellular uptake. False. Insulin actually lowers blood glucose levels by helping cells absorb glucose from the bloodstream. What is the name of the enzyme that begins carbohydrate digestion in the mouth? Amylase is the enzyme in saliva that starts breaking down carbohydrates as soon as food enters the mouth. What part of the small intestine connects directly to the stomach? The duodenum connects to the stomach, serving as the first segment of the small intestine. Which pancreatic product neutralizes stomach acid in the duodenum? Bicarbonate-rich secretions perform this role. Inflammation of the appendix is known as Appendicitis is the term used for inflammation of the appendix. Which dietary deficiency causes scurvy? A lack of vitamin C leads to scurvy, since this vitamin is essential for collagen synthesis. A condition caused by impaired insulin action or secretion leading to high blood glucose is called This condition is called diabetes mellitus, which develops when insulin can't properly regulate blood glucose levels. What is the name of the medical instrument shown in the image? A nasal speculum is used to gently open the nostrils so a doctor can examine the inside of the nasal cavity. Which electrolyte imbalance is often linked to cardiac arrhythmias and muscle weakness? Cardiac arrhythmias and muscle weakness are often linked to hyperkalemia, which is elevated potassium. What substance in urine is commonly used to assess kidney filtration? Creatinine is the substance most commonly measured to assess kidney filtration. Which gland is responsible for producing cortisol? The adrenal cortex is the gland that produces cortisol. The hormone that increases blood calcium levels is known as The hormone that raises blood calcium levels is parathyroid hormone. A disorder involving prolonged excess thyroid hormone is The hyperthyroid disorder caused by excess thyroid hormone is called Graves' disease. What part of a neuron receives incoming signals from other cells? Dendrites are the structures that receive incoming signals from other neurons. True or false? The blood-brain barrier protects the central nervous system from many substances in the bloodstream. True, the blood-brain barrier does help protect the central nervous system from many blood-borne substances. 
Which of the following tests is used to evaluate the speed of electrical conduction in peripheral nerves? NCS, or nerve conduction study, is the test that measures how quickly electrical signals travel along peripheral nerves. The brain's visual processing takes place mainly in which lobe? Visual information is processed mainly in the occipital lobe. There are the last five questions ahead of you. I hope you like the quiz. Good luck! Which specialist primarily manages hormone disorders such as diabetes and thyroid disease? An endocrinologist is the specialist who diagnoses and treats hormone-related disorders, including diabetes and thyroid conditions. Which ethical principle focuses on doing no harm? The principle of non-maleficence emphasizes avoiding harm to patients in medical practice. What is the cranial nerve responsible for controlling the muscles of facial expression? The cranial nerve that controls facial expression is the facial nerve. Which condition is most characteristic of aging-related bone loss increasing fracture risk? Osteoporosis is the condition most commonly associated with decreased bone density and a higher risk of fractures as people age. Which antidote is indicated for benzodiazepine overdose in certain situations? It is a flumazenil. Thanks for watching. Be sure to check out my previous videos and don't forget to subscribe so you never miss a new quiz.